Hello there, my name is G Max Max in the fourth, but you can call me Max. And welcome to this video. First, if you are watching this, it's probably for one of two reasons. One, you were asked by me to lend your expertise to a project I'm putting together for my students, and you, you have wonderfully agreed to help. Or two, someone sent you this link because they think you are incredible at what you do, and you were intrigued enough to see where that flattery got you. Well, welcome to my new project. Beyond acting. This video is going to explain what you are contributing to, how to participate, and some tips and tricks to make it easier for you. Over the last two years, I've been finagling and working with a general idea in mind, and with the goal of creating a textbook for my students many of which who are boundary crossing, non-majors, and are new to theater. I want to help them realize the vast number of different jobs available in the field, and that no matter their talents or skill sets, there is a place for them in our incredible community. The original idea was to interview one artist in each field, an artistic director, a director, a set designer, a choreographer, paint charge, wig master, really as many different fields as possible, and have them all answer the same series of questions and then lay out that information, giving two pages for each position in the book. A quick shout out to Erica Mack for her incredible help creating this sample page here. The more I thought about it though, the more I realized that if I was going to teach students that there is no correct way to do theater, no one right answer to find, I was going to need to give them more than one example of each. And that is where you come in. But including more people meant a format change to make it work, because no one wants a 2,000 page textbook let alone a textbook. So I decided to switch gears and play to my strengths, and that is where this video series got its start. And now, as things grow and shift, and as we all become more Zoom friendly, I decide to expand this project to include literally as many theater artists as I can in these many different categories. Maybe these categories. I should have looked at where that was gonna go at the beginning, but it's okay, I'll just pick the right one and cut the rest out, no worries. <sighs> Now, each of the videos will just consist of one position in theater, director, artistic director, set designer, choreographer, and then combine the ideas from the many artists in that one field, all talking about what they do. What that also means is that if you work as more than one of these many artists listed here, or even beyond these, please feel free to submit answers for as many as you feel qualified for. All I ask is that you break them up and record one position at a time so all the positions for each job are grouped together for ease of editing later. Cool? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Before getting into that though, I wanna go back and explain where the idea for the original book came from so you can have a better idea where I'm coming from when you're diving into your questions. When I started working in theater at the age of 14, I wanted to be a set designer. Hands down, well, that was after I wanted to be an actor. Next was set designer, hands down. Regardless, I knew I wanted to be a set designer since I was 14, and I stubbornly followed that tunnel vision until I was 21. That was my first time experimenting with lighting design. Only a little bit here and there, some 1X, a class project, nothing with too many areas, but just enough to change my outlook on theater and the course of my career. Now, some would say shifting from scenic to lighting and projections isn't a huge transition, especially since I still work as a scenic designer from time to time. But the differences, the changes it has made in my life and how I work are bizarrely huge. As a set designer, I get to focus my attention on the actor's movement and creating an overall feel or flow to the world, often the first impression the audience gets. And the planning and detail involved are often like an elaborate, exciting puzzle, having to think in not only 3D, but in 4D and well in advance of when it actually happens. But when I moved to Chicago, I needed to stack projects to make sure I could pay rent. That at one point meant seven designs, yes, at various stages, but all at the same time. Have you ever tried to do seven elaborate puzzles at once? <laughs> but when I work as a lighting or projections designer, I get to use skills that I never got to flex when I do scenery, and spend more time playing and less time planning, which is often exactly what helps me keep my sanity. Sprinkle in a set design or two every year and you have a happy max. Jumping from area to area allows me to balance my time, different parts of my brain space, my work schedule, and it keeps things fresh for me. The thing is, I just wish I would have known more about the differences earlier on. 
but it was only when I started to actually dabble around at the end of undergrad, start of grad school, that I began to realize what was possible. The book was meant to open the eyes of future theater practitioners, people who have never experienced theater behind the scenes before, and show them the broad spectrum of jobs and possibilities that are available that don't always involve being an actor, i.e. the title, Beyond Acting. So I wanted to introduce students early on to some of my favorite artists working in theater and have you tell us about your job or jobs. And that brings us back to now. I am asking you for your help for you to submit a video or videos of yourself answering a series of questions about you, your work, your process, and other things that you wish you knew when you were younger. I'm not looking for a prepared, memorized monologue, just you casually, personally answering the questions. Pretend I asked you the question across a production meeting table, and then definitely pretend that it's not weird of me to interrupt a production meeting to ask you personal questions across the table. Yeah, you know it. The questionnaire can be found in the description below, and the goal is to have you create a simple video recording introducing yourself and then answering the 13 questions. And that's it. I will do the rest. I will add in all the fancy transitions and effects and all the... <laughs> Lend me your expertise and your personality, if only for a bit. The good, the bad, and the unexpected. I want to hear about it all. Thank you so much for your time and help. I can't express how much I appreciate it or how much my students will benefit from your expertise. Thank you again. Best always. Thanks, y'all.